Hello and welcome to the Life Dead Lego vlog. Apologies for the uh, humming in the background, uh, but we're still having uh, damp issues, so industrial fans are going. But that's not going to stop me from building some Lego and sharing it with you lovely people. So this build is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from the opening scenes of Revenge of the Sith. The box is looking a bit battered. I believe we have either my cat or my daughter to thank for that. Lily! Hello Lily! Say hello to the lovely people! Okay, if you're gonna say hello, do it nicely and not... Hey ladies and gentlemen, there's my cat's box. Here we go. So, yes, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Now, this was first released in 2005. And has had a few different iterations since then, but this is the most recent one, and it's the second one I ever got. Uh, the first being the 2005 version, which came with a vulture droid as well. Hello, Lily. Yes, you can you can fuss. <laughs> so, uh, come on, out the way. Did you sit on? Did you sit on this Lego box? Did you? Did you? Come on. Out you go. Come on. Off you go. Okay, sit there. So yes, uh, let's take a quick look at the back of the box. Probably looking a little less damaged. So of course it shows us what we get. We've got R2, Anakin, he's got his uh, communicator uh, comm unit there. Flick missile uh, there. And this one also, it says play it in Lego Star Wars, the Star Wars, uh, Sky War, Skywalker Saga, which is out next year. So, uh, bear with me, I'll be right back with an open box and we'll see what's inside. So inside the box we have the instructions, a sticker sheet, uh, the canopy, which actually looks pretty similar if not the same as the one from the 2005 version, but it might, I might be completely wrong. I'll have to fish it out from the shed to uh, confirm. Looks like JJ wants to come and play as well. So we've got three bags, so one, two, three, there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, JJ, the kitten. Say hello. Hi, JJ. We're not playing? Okay. You're so small and soft and cuddly. Come on, you. <clears throat> so, yeah. There we go. That's the box. That's inside the box. Um, I'm not sure which bag builds what, but I know, I can tell you for a fact, bag one comes with both R2 and Anakin uh, there. The feline is not included in the box, but has decided that this is the place it's going to sit. Or lay. Are you comfy? I'll tell you that as yes. So, uh, I'm going to uh, pause and get set up to build this thing and possibly remove the two cats from the vicinity. So, uh, in a quick flash of editing greatness, I'll be right back. Here we have it, folks. The finished product. So there we go. Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. So let's just come down here quickly. So we've got Anakin Skywalker with his comm unit and R2-D2. Anakin, of course, comes with a lightsaber. Uh, and I don't think you can really see it here. But um, I do believe this is a reused torso from the um, Mustafar duel um, because you can just faintly see here uh, like little bits of brown showing through the black on the tunic, and those are the burn marks that we see in the uh, on that minifigure. Um, R2 is R2. You can't expect much more than that. Um, 
So, the ship itself, excuse me, JJ, down you get. Ooh, bit of plastic back. Um, the ship itself is actually pretty small. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Um, it's pretty small, it's sleek, I mean, next to my hand, it's, yep. It looks small, it's sleek, it fits the bill completely, um, which is really cool. Um, cockpit, of course, canopy lifts up to allow Anakin to just sit inside, so we're just going to pop him in. Uh, lightsaber's just rolling around, rolling around. So Anakin sits there. And according to the instructions, he's meant to lay back. Um, we'll just flip this around. Stuck in the... There we go. So flip it around. Oh, not what I was planning on doing. Um, you can see a little stickered piece here with uh, controls and everything. And of course, the canopy closes. The canopy is actually attached by um, a little kind of uh, few pieces here that actually the building technique there I thought was pretty ingenious. Um, so we'll turn that back around. You can see Anakin in the cockpit. Um, just there. Um, and we've got a nice little slot here for R2, so we'll just pop R2 in there. Now, when I first got my first Jedi Interceptor from 2005, the wings were much thinner, they didn't have the base there for R2 to sit on. So essentially you just took the head off of the R2 minifig and just stuck it where it had to go. Which, you know, pretty lame in comparison now. Um, so the f S foils open up um, and I'll show you the bottom as well. Uh, they've got really they've got like a nice sticker design on there. Um, and then you flip it over and the S foils open up here. Now what's also interesting is they've got these two clips here where you are meant to put, put your spare flip missile in one and Anakin's lightsaber in the other uh, but I'm not going to really do that but um, you know, if I was to display it Oops, what did I just break? Oops, just broke a blaster. Just flip that back over. This is why I love Lego. You just easily put it all back together as if nothing happened. Um, so yeah, to display it, you're really just going to have the top S foils open unless you're going to hang it. Now, I haven't decided how I'm going to display this yet because the office is in pretty much a lot of disarray whilst I um, put some new furniture in there and with all the work that's going on currently in the front room and the kitchen it's pretty difficult to really sort that out anyway enough about life um, JJ don't play with my missiles um, so yeah the, it's a really nice set um, Looking at it now, I think piece to price ratio is pretty good. It's just £25. Um, I think it was around 250 something pieces. Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, the size is accurate. It's accurate for the uh, vehicle from the films. So I've got no complaints there. Um, I'm, and I'm also glad that LEGO didn't go ahead and just make this and a hyperspace ring uh, 
for like a jacked up price like they did with Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor a few years back, uh, especially seeing the hyperspace ring didn't look all that great, uh, in my opinion. Um, so I'm really glad that they just did the ship itself without the uh, added hyperdrive. Um, I really love the fact that you can stick R2 in here. Uh, really good stickers, I mean I've shown you the one in the cockpit and these uh, these are also stickers here and there's a really nice little sticker of the um, Republic logo just there. Um, like nice little details here with the blaster um, if you can see it there and a, you know a little pipe just here move out of the shadow um, and it's bright uh, I mean of course the vehicle in the film is bright it's yellow and grey um, but it's really cool getting, kind of getting that in a in Lego form as well and I think this will look really nice with the um, Anakin's Jedi fighter that came out last year or the year before um, I think they'll look really nice together on display so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of putting those out there together. Um, so yeah, before I go, I'd just like to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for uh, visiting the blog or the YouTube channel, wherever you have seen this. Um, and say bye bye, JJ. Lily, are you saying bye bye? JJ, don't miss me, Lily. JJ, say bye bye, buddy. Okay. So, yeah, until next time, uh, ladies and gents, punch it, Chewie.